Not all PAR sensors are the same, and while the MQ510 is perfect for blue heavy LEDs, you probably shouldn't pay the 150 plus extra if you're reefing with T5 or metal halides over your tank when this is the right tool for the job. I'm Thomas, and this Apogee MQ210X PAR meter is the go-to option for reefers that want a tried, tested, and true PAR meter with a waterproof sensor designed for taking PAR readings in our reef tanks lit by T5 and metal halide lighting. PAR sensors are designed for specific applications, like use in primarily air versus underwater, or for measuring sunlight versus artificial lighting. So when you're looking to pick up a PAR meter, you not only want to get one for taking measurements underwater, but also match it to your light source. While the majority of reefers are now using LEDs and will want to pick up the newer and pricier MQ510 PAR meter, for those of us using classic technology like fluorescent and metal halide lighting, using the MQ210X is going to get the job done well while saving quite a bit of coin. The only real difference is the sensor itself and the actual handheld meter has all the same bells and whistles. So whether you want to know when it's time to change your bulbs or map out the PAR in your tank for coral placement or see how a new bulb combination has changed your part levels, the MQ210X is up to the challenge. When you open up the box, you'll find the MQ210X PAR meter and sensor, as well as a button cell battery. The MQ210X is tailor-made for use in our saltwater aquariums with a completely waterproof quantum sensor and cable, and it automatically corrects for the immersion effect so you'll have accurate readings underwater. It has a NIST traceable calibration, which is also fantastic. The list of specs is easy to find on the product page, and they include just about everything you can think of. But for most reefers, what matters most is that the sensor has a 180 degree field of view, responds to a spectral range between 370 to 650 nanometers, has a cable length from the meter to the sensor of two meters or roughly six and a half feet long. Its calibration is NIST traceable, and Apogee backs up their meters with a four year warranty. It's really easy to start using it. To start using it, use a Phillips head screwdriver to pop open the battery cover on the back and toss in the included button cell battery. Although it isn't a requirement, I also highly recommend picking up the optional sensor wand. It just makes taking readings in the tank a heck of a lot easier and less messy. No wet arm and sneaking the sensor between corals or in a shaded area is much easier to do without your arm accidentally casting an unintended shadow on the sensor. With the battery in, remove the cap from the sensor and turn on the meter by pressing down the power button and it'll automatically begin measuring the light falling on the sensor. Then you can place it in the aquarium at a location you'd like to measure, give it a few seconds to stabilize and you'll have your reading. The meter also allows you to actually log readings, which is extremely helpful when you're trying to map the PAR in your tank because you'll have one hand holding the meter, the other hand holding the sensor wand. It becomes pretty difficult to type or write anything down. Instead, you can just press the sample button while taking a reading and you'll see the numbers in the top right corner of the meter increase by one for every sample that you log. Then you can use the up and down arrows later to browse through the logged readings whenever you want to. And the onboard memory is actually gonna keep them saved until you decide you want to reset them. The meter is also capable of doing automatic logging and doing daily averages, although most reefers won't need to use it. Once you've mapped out your tank, you'll know exactly where you should be placing your most light demanding corals, as well as the more light sensitive corals, and getting their placement right the first time can save you from browned out or even bleached corals. And if that sounds like it matches your reefing mantra, you can pick one up for yourself by clicking right here.